I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I came to collect my granddaughter from our school at Petra Christian Academy, Ogeli. I've been doing these videos on reinvigorating yourself. And the passage is from 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 7. And one of the key issues you must note when you are reinvigorating yourself is shut the door against yourself. The prophet told the wife of the prophet, he said, go borrow vessels, not a few, and shut the door against yourself and your sons. You see, this place in the background is the school, the secondary school. We didn't start with this. I will take you to where we started from. This place was a pond, big pond, deep pond. Then this street was waterlogged. But when we were doing our first end of year party or is it graduation ceremony, this whole street was waterlogged. And I told them, you are seeing water, but I'm seeing road. That time, I didn't even have money to pay any worker. So I will come in the evening and start to cut the trees along the survey line of this road. And then let's go to the, let's go to the, the primary side where we started from. So this was where we started from. And it was also, it was also waterlogged. So we, it was waterlogged and the uh, fishes used to swim here. Somebody, when we laid the foundation of this building, somebody went there and carved on it Noah's Ark. And people would tell me that where I bought was a river and a pond. So I shut the door against myself. You will hear a lot of criticisms. You will hear a lot of suggestions. You will hear a lot of mean words. Shut the door against yourself. Shut the door against critics. Shut the door against analysts. Shut the door against cynical people. Shut the door against commentators. Shut the door against compare, people who compare you with people. Then when we started, they will say, uh, so, so, so school does not behave like this. I was building my own school, not their school. That's their own. Somebody's miracle should not prevent you, should not talk you out of your own miracle. And so I was the first gate man here. Let me pan around so that you can see the gates. Then it was not so. I was the first gate man here. I was the first bus driver. I was the first bus driver. Then the buses were not many. Uh, I shut the door. I would drive bus to go and carry school children from distant places, Afisiri, Agbaroto, um, Ewu. Wake up in the morning, as a doctor, I would go and carry children. I carried children on my back here. I, people said all kinds of things. Shut the door against yourself. When you shut the door against yourself, you will concentrate on building your life. But you see, when you succeed, the doors will open and people will keep coming and coming. When I do conferences here, I don't do many banners. By the time I do one, two, three, four banners and paste around this town, I announce on radio, by 10 o'clock, I keep to time. I don't practice African time. By 10 o'clock, this place is filled with cars, bishops, and all kinds of people from different denominations, policemen, all kinds of people come here. It was because I shut the door against myself and my family. We were not discouraged by their comments. We were not dissuaded by their cynical remarks. Today, we can compete 
with any school in Delta State. And this edifice here is magnificent. And sometimes when I sit down, I wonder how we managed to build this edifice without borrowing from bank, without political assistance, I mean, a government assistance. We shut the door against ourselves. Shut the door against your mind sometimes that we want to tell you you are doing the wrong thing, that you are in the wrong place, that we want to discourage you. Sometimes the devil comes to speak to me, but shut the door against them, against yourself. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Stop living according to people's opinions and people's comments. God bless you. Subscribe to this channel, share it with others, and then join my WhatsApp mentorship group by sending a message to plus 234-7052-136763. And I'm wearing my Super Eagles jersey. Um, believing God we will win that trophy. I watched the finals of 1980 in the National Stadium, Christian Chuku and the rest people. This year, I hope we will win too. God bless you all.